pirates and the castle adventure. Do you like adventures? Travels far and wide? Do you like the tales of pirates? Castles strange inside? Then come and hear my pirate's tale. It may not all be true. A brother and a sister in this story and some strange adventures too. Now, imagination is an amazing thing. We can travel through time and space. David said to his sister, Lily, which adventures do you think are really, really ace? Lily thought for a moment, and her answer was immediate and sure. Wow, pirates, castles, birds, magic, seas both calm or with a roar. So in the garden, that afternoon, they built a pirate ship from cartons, old sheets and wood. And when they'd finished their work of art, it all looked really, really good. They sat inside like pirates, David and his sister Lily. David said, Abracadabra, while Lily looked and just felt silly. But with that, there was a mighty wind and a gale began to blow. The garden transformed into a stormy sea with treasures down below. The sheets they'd used became kind of white sails with pictures of a Jolly Roger and a green and red parrot sat atop the mast. And his name was Dodger. Suddenly, their homemade pirate ship began to slowly change. It had a boat's wheel, ropes, knots, and a telescope, long range. A storm built up. The pirate ship now rocked from side to side, and it braved the storm, and amidst some rocks at an island they arrived. Lily and David, they looked across to the island with its skyline filled with trees. And monkeys jumped from branch to branch. And they all had hairy knees. And there was sand, seaweed, shells and rocks, small creatures on the beach. By wading through the water, David and Lily, the shore could reach. This is some adventure. It's great, amazing, David to Lily said. Then they came across a castle. Lily spoke. This is somewhere about where I've read. Now the castle was made of stone and covered in drawings and things. And set in the stones were crystals, diamonds, sapphires and gold rings. David and Lily found a door held firm with a rusty iron chain. They tried and they tried to get inside. They tried and tried again. Lily said, go on, David, say the magic word, abracadabra zing. With that, a creak, a sound of grating, and the door opened on its spring. Bravely, they slowly walked inside. There were cobwebs just everywhere. And they heard a noise. And when they looked, it was a wooden rocking chair. They spied a very narrow, like a passageway, which they both very bravely took. And with beady eyes, sitting on a casket, was a large and funny looking rook. So, who are you both? asked the rook. Why don't you come on in? David said, I, I, I'm David and Lily, who's my sister. And he gave a grin. You've stepped into an adventure, the rook said, then rang a bell. Ding, 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 ding. I can see you really like pirates and castles, I can tell. Follow me, said the rook, and you will both be amazed. Delighted with that appeared a sleek white horse on which they both alighted. Now the rook sat on the horse's head and the horse gave out a nay. Today you will see and hear things you'll never see or hear another day. The horse 
cantered through the passageway. The children bent their heads. Because there, opening up, there was an amazing scene. A sunrise. Orange. Yellow. Red. And there, in front of them, was a massive sea with pirates' boats galore. Some pirates stood on board their ships, and some stood along the shore. The rook flew up above them, and loudly gave a quack, quack. The pirates looked across at them and said, Roar, roar, and roar. Then they said, Let the search begin for any buried treasure. Dig up the sand, look under the rocks, let treasure be your measure. With that, all the parts gave a oar cry and sand flew in the air. They didn't seem to worry if sand got in their hair. <laughs> one part, a fierce one, and Bluebeard was his name. He looked towards David and Lily, asking them to join in the game. Well, they both went and joined the pirates, who gave them spades to dig. They looked the part. They looked like pirates. And they did a little jig. <laughs> they moved the rocks and yellow sand, then saw a box real big. And David took one side of the box, and Lily took the other. She was always happy to help her funny pirate brother. The box was amazing. Wooden, with long strips to hold it together. But also there were handles attached. And they were both made of leather. Bluebird said, well, go on then, mates. Open it. Just see what's inside. And they lifted the lid with a creak. And both their mouths <gasps> opened wide. Because inside were amazing things, fossils, minerals, gems and gold, ancient books about dinosaurs and two lanterns that they could hold. It's yours to keep, said Bluebeard. Now you must both make your way home. Follow the rook as far as he goes and make sure you just don't roam. The children couldn't believe it, and so they got into their boat and travelled at full speed. Straight ahead and on your right, Dodger the parrot will now lead. The rook gave a spin, flapped his wings, and flew back to his home. Dodger the parrot sat atop the mast and said, Make sure we don't know room. Suddenly, around them, were monsters in the waters with gnashing teeth. And David and Lily could see funny things moving in the waves beneath. With that, they landed with a bump. The sun shining in the sky. Everything was as it was. No sea. No water. Everything just bone dry. Their mum called out from the kitchen. Are you two OK? Are you having fun? You've been in your boat all afternoon, just sitting in the sun. The children looked at each other and knew the adventure they'd been on. But now, of course, none of that was left. Everything had gone. But with that, from a chimney pot, a red and green parrot appeared. It's Dodger, it's Dodger, David and Lily both loudly cheered. Now Dodger sat on the garden fence and pointed at something with his beak. David and Lily got out of their boat and went to take a peek. There against the fence was a big wooden leather strapped box and around it of various sizes were different coloured rocks. They opened up the lid and 
just imagine their surprise. They found two pirate hats, two lanterns, and two pirates disguised. David looked at Lily, Lily at David, and they wondered if it was true. But in our imaginations, anything is possible. I think it's true. Do you? Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah.